Hello everyone, welcome to Hawkville. We're playing some more paladins, this time as Drogos. Uh, I played one game with him before this, so uh, he's pretty much brand new to me. I don't know if I'm making uh, making smart choices with him or not. Uh, but we'll find out. Um, I really... Let's try the life rip with him last time I didn't use that. So, oh, we bought up to tier 2. Okay. Not what I meant to do. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. We only spent four. Okay. About the tier 1. <laughs> so that was... Gotta understand what you're doing. So we're gonna try life rip. Probably should have bought damage. I don't know. We'll find out. We're still learning. I'm learning what makes him good. Uh, look at what the enemy Jogos did. Uh, he didn't build anything. So he's saving his points. Um, I like to come out with stuff, otherwise I feel like I'm just at a big time disadvantage. Here we're just going to try to pepper them without getting overly peppered. Because we're trying to capture this Thomas shot to it. So we can start trying to take this thing. Oh no, 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 no. Go on back, go on back, go on back. Well, move off the point for a second. Just because we did get low. Okay, we're back. Back to taking the point for the first point. So, um, how this game mode works is a little bit different than our previous one. You come out and you're you're just trying to outscore your opponents each round. So the first uh, point you'll get is uh, capturing this this spot. And if you can do that, you'll get one point and then you will be the pushing team and it'll be a lot like that previous game except for it'll be uh, can you push it all the way to uh, the oh, darn it to the uh, I'm trying to remember what it's called well anyway if you push it all the way you win if the other team stops you then they they had a successful defense and so um, that's really the way this game works it's about outscoring they captured so now we're trying to defend in order to get a point back. If they successfully push, then they will ha uh, have uh, two points to our zero. Which obviously the goal is to outscore them. Second most competitive. Um, so there we ran in. Don't know what happened. I think I did my Q instead of my right click. I know those buttons are really far away from each other, so I'm really confused about how that happened. Um, Almost have our all not really hitting. As often as I like. Oh man, where were we getting hit? I want to see this. Really, she was just hitting us from all the way down there. It really felt like I was dodging those better. Guess not. Good work for her. Um, that was a really bad outing. Did we earn any enough points to buy anything? So let's reduce the damage that we're taking on those direct hits. I like that one. I, use, I buy that one a lot. So hopefully, we'll be more. This side, to take hopefully this keep missing. That's all. Behold the dragon's fury! Pick that one because we uh, didn't want to waste that all on a low health, low health opponent. Now we're gonna potentially get that Q built up her down quite a bit. Now he's back up already. Wow. Really did not feel like he was down very long at all. Gotta work on with both Cassie and Jogos. Um, accuracy is very important. Well, of all characters, but you, know, you don't have that fully auto of like Victor or Tyra. I think I called her Pyra in the first video, but Tyra. Um, <laughs> enunciation. Whatever it is, pronunciation. I get it wrong a lot. Uh, so yeah, we, it looks like we're going to have a successful defense, but uh, with the fully auto characters, we use to fly it up more. Uh, the fly up uh, helps us dodge, but oh, I can't remember what I was going to say. But the characters that don't have fully auto uh, weapons, you, you just got to be more precise, and that that's part of the difficulty of the game. I'm also working on learning what goes into loadouts. Um, 
And you, so basically, one thing unique to Paladins is at the beginning of the game, you can choose a loadout, and then when you're not in game, you can customize your loadouts and uh, use them to like change what your character is good at. So if you have Bomb King, you can up your explosive damage, uh, all that stuff. So you you use your loadouts to make your hero unique or to get the most out of that hero and kind of stylize them to your way of play. Um, so yeah, that's something I want to work on getting out there so I can have a show for you guys. And they are kind of like a card-like deal, so it kind of makes me feel comfortable because, you know, Paragon. So that's, uh, that's a unique thing about it, so hopefully we'll get that figured out in the future and we'll be able to bring you guys some videos on loadouts and just more stuff explaining the game in general so that you guys understand what I'm doing. I don't know what he's okay. asking for. I haven't been reading what he's saying. I think he's been asking for us to set up ambushes. Which I, I don't know if I'm good enough to understand how he wants to go about setting up those ambushes. Shooting behind us. I'm taking damage. I'm not really sure from where. Now we're healing. It's all good. I'm missing a lot this game, guys. Just... There we go. Got up close range. We're missing a lot. I like to bring it up close. Got 72 percent built. So that Jogos came in and out <laughs> Jogos me. You could tell he was more comfortable playing. And I think he's using a custom loadout because. Uh, he he had more flight time than I did. Or I was kind of more just um, a pop up in the air. So. <laughs> so many shots. Oh, good work. Get some points pushing that payload. So we had a successful push. There we go. Oh, and we're gonna have our ult right off the bat, so that'll help. I don't know how we're doing on dealing damage. Our team's playing incredibly well. So that that helps. New game. Start here with some new stuff. Get that damage built. Get our ability cooldown reduced. Point spawning in 15 seconds. A lot of them is a lot of those guys are just building straight damage. Uh. Enemy Jogos. Uh. Oh. So he's taking Five, out our shields. Four, three, Increasing two, the rate his ultimate combat. That's smart. I should do that more. I haven't. Uh, I did increase cooldown time instead. Maybe next time I'll do the ultimate because Jogos' ultimate is pretty phenomenally amazing. It just works. He gets the kills. Oh, that was annoying. He was like, all that damage he did? Nope. There we go. Starting to hit those. Gotta learn how to play your heal a little bit. He scared me. He's a teammate, though. Don't need to be scared of our teammates. Let's come back and capture this. Help us capture it faster. It's good that they're keeping the engagement away from the point though. Because that uh, gives us more time to capture it. Slow down their engagement with us. And they're picking up kills as they do it. So I'm not going to use my alt until I feel like it's needed. Or Victory. there we go. Didn't even need it all. Game one. So we were able to just, there at the end, we were just scoring points. And our team was able to push the enemy team up. And we stayed back to uh, just help score up the point faster. I don't know if you, that works or not. That, that was my game plan. Here we're going to get to see our teammate who actually had the top play of the game. And man, he was doing some work. That is the character Tyra. And then I was just not fast enough to select her. I was really hoping to get to play her tonight for you guys. But Jogos was really fun. I hope you all enjoyed. Um, stay tuned for some more Paladins. And I... 
We'll definitely get back to Paragon for you guys at some point in the future. And of course looking forward to For Honor next month. But in the meantime, let me know in the comments if there's any other games you'd like me to play. Um, if they do cost, that might be a hindrance for now, saving up. Uh, but you know, definitely free to play, play games if you have any in mind. Drop them in the comments, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.